I'm Coach Adam. Today I'm going to do a brief video, and I know that's not easy for me, on the ball and the ball strike and how the ball presents your options. If you like this video, by the way, hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my videos on teaching and coaching tennis. All right, let's look at the ball. So, the first thing that I tell my students is as the ball is coming towards you and you're looking at it, you should be visually with your eyes looking for the inside side of the ball. We'll use that mark right there on my stick. I put a big blob there so I can show them. So as the ball is coming towards you, visually your eyes should be looking for that inside side of the ball. Now what does that do? Well, if it's coming to you and you see the inside side of the ball, you're far enough away from it for ball strike. If you can only see the back side of the ball, you're too close, and visually that's not where you should be looking. As you're tracking it towards you, by the time you start to see it, then depending on the grip that you're using, you're either hitting it out front or a little bit late if you're using Continental but it's the inside side of the ball that visually you're looking at. And it's quite potential that you may actually see that point of rotation as the ball is coming towards you. Okay, so that's the first thing that I'm telling my students to do is look at the inside side of the ball as it's approaching. Now we need to look at the ball and the anatomy of the ball bounce. As the ball comes down and hits the ground and rises, we're gonna call that before the peak, or just before for short. So it's the ground, rises before the peak, and then as it falls, after the peak. Let's just abbreviate that as before and after. Now there's a particular swing path, it doesn't have to do anything necessarily with topspin uh, or driving, but if your racket is catching a ball that's rising, it needs to be much more linear as it's swinging across. A ball before the peak, the swing path is linear, that's gonna give you success. And a ball after the peak has, the, has a better potential if it's a low to high ball, you're under the ball and coming up at it. Now there are certainly are variations to that depending on what grip you're using and what your intention is. If you're putting backspin on the ball or slice, completely different. But the thing that I want my students to notice is as the ball hits the ground that you're paying attention to first the inside side of the ball, is it, are you catching it before the peak or after the peak? And I will teach you different ways to strike the ball depending on where it is in that anatomy of the ball bounce. So let's look at why real quick. A ball on, or a ball coming up off the ground, we have heard that from other coaches as taking it on the rise. Again, I'm using the term before. If you're catching it as a before and you're trying to go low to high and you're chasing it up, you will flub the ball. Before the peak, that swing path has to be much more straight across for your success. A ball after, so it's after the peak, it's falling, and you go straight across, the ball's gonna drop down. So on the after, after the peak and it's falling, you're gonna come low to high. Before the peak, straight across. After the peak, low to high, if we're looking at driving balls. Okay, let's look at the next thing that we're looking at. Well, and that is if we're an aggressive player and we've gotten to the point where we're putting topspin on the ball, the point of contact, and you've seen that in my other videos. So if the, uh, if the intent is to put topspin on the ball, the point of contact for a ball where my arm is extended out we call that, I call that armchair height. It's perfect, it's comfortable. The ball strike is going to be more vertical so that I get that top spin. So point of contact, vertical. Anything below that, and you can see that arrow, point of contact now is going to be 
lower with my arm obviously but it's going to be brushing in an outward direction so the ball is kind of kind of curve around and get back over into the court that's very important i can't do a vertical topspin uh, contact point at that point i need to be hitting in that direction out there to get the full swing and contrary to that a ball that's higher i need to be brushing in the direction that's going across my body so i'm getting that rotation that way before it crosses the net and straightens out So that is a quick tip for you today to consider looking at the anatomy of the ball balance, the inside side of the ball, the path of your racket, depending on where it is in the face, and if you're hitting top spin balls. Now I address this on the forehand, on the backhand it's a little different. We'll look at that in another video where I break down the entire steps to get to an advanced backhand. But if you're hitting a forehand, it depends on where the ball height is. If it's down low, the contact point is going out. If you're at arm show height, it's a level vertical contact. If it's above, we're coming across the top, kind of coming on the inside, the point of contact. And that's going to allow you to successfully hit those hard, aggressive balls. So just a quick video on the ball today where to look at it, the phase of the ball, and contact point. Again, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. And I uh, look forward to looking for your comments and questions, and I'll address those as uh, you uh, present them. Have a good day, guys.